So how can we get that parameter from our query string? Well, the answer is we can get it from the params object, just like we did when we were accessing our users and trying to figure out which uh, user we were accessing, or uh, when we wanted to find out what data people entered into text boxes to, to populate the username. So we're going to do params, and we're going to do order because that is the, the name of our particular parameter. And we'll, let, let's just uh, say uh, ordering equals params.order and we can uh, go ahead and put in ordering right here. And what that's going to allow us to do is whatever the value of ordering is, we're, we're going to display that. So if we do that and try to, to run our test now, let's see what happens. We run our test. And we have a failure here uh, because look at the SQL that was generated. Select rides from rides, or select star from rides, order by, and service. And the, the name of our column is, is not service. It, if we go into our <coughs> Rails console here, we, we can, can see something similar here. If we do ride.order service, we get this big blow up. And it says, there is no such column, rides.service. We're trying to order it by, by the, the wrong value here. Uh, and, and that comes back to thinking about our the, the way our database is set up. We don't, service is an object that Rails provides for us. When we're actually creating the SQL, we need to be able to link to this services, and that's through this service ID attribute right here. So what we really want is to not order by service, but by service ID. And when that w works, we get uh, a successful thing. So that's great, but we don't want to say service ID in our query string. That looks weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to say case params, and we're going to, we can say when our params is user, we're going to set that to be user. Uh, when it's service, we're going to set it to service ID and we will end it right there. All right. And so now we can run our tests again. And now we should be passing in an ordering by user or an ordering by service ID. And so now we run our tests. And although they take a long time, oh, they're they're still failing. What's going on here? And it's it's hard to tell. Well, the first thing we can see is that I was just doing a complete boneheaded thing here, and I did user rather than date. So let's uh, change the hat first of all, um, and and do that. But that's not the only problem, right? Because we had both of those fail, and so the service uh, should have been the problem. So let's go ahead and run our server and try to access it through our web browser and, and see what's going on here. So let's go here and try to access it by date. And what we see is we have the 26th, the 2nd, the 26th, and the 2nd. So we are not getting it by date. This is not working. So what could be the problem? Uh, well, let's see what uh, is going on. So I'm going to just put in here uh, what the value of params order is. I'm just going to 
just display that and then I can run this again I displayed it and when we go down here and scroll up and here's all the database queries we got the parameters order date and its date but look at this order arrow that's the string date it's not the symbol date that we thought we passed in from our uh, testing so in instead of here comparing to the symbol date we need to compare to the uh, string date or we can turn this back into a symbol so let's to sim now when we write it and we do our comparison we get the right ordering the 26th and then the the second if we do uh, excuse me here by service we we see that it goes back to the original uh, I don't have multiple services in here so it's it's hard to see that that working on there other than it didn't do with with the date and so uh, I think we have better belief that that's working so we can run our tests again because now we have multiple services in our tests and make sure that our dates and our services uh, work properly oh my goodness what is going on here we got this uh, trying to call to sim for nil class and it shows up all over the, the place here and, and all these fits. Well we know the only place we're calling to sim is right here. Um, and so that's that must be nil. Well how how can that be nil? Well look at where we're accessing. We're visiting our rides path. We're not setting an order parameter all the time we're only setting the rides parameter in in some specific cases that uh, we're not um, showing here and so that that corresponds to in our uh, web browser if we just go to rides right here if we go to that without any query string uh, uh, and uh, we turn on our server real quick. If we go there with uh, without any qu query string, and I, there we go, we get that same error. So that's what's going on is is params as nil, and so when we try to go to sim. It, it's a, a problem. So uh, let's go ahead and take care of that by doing like um, order param equals params sub order. That gets this right here. And now what we, we can do is um, is we haven't done anything to change here but what happens is if this is nil we can compare it to true or false and we can say or we can give it the string uh, or the 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 symbol a symbol to a symbol is the same date so look at what we're doing here we're saying get the value from that parameter if it's nil, that will result in false. And so our short circuiting or will not be done. And so it has to go and get this value of date here and gives us a symbol. So now it will either give us the value from a parameter or it will give us the default value of a date. Convert that to a symbol, compare those symbols against these things, and then order it properly. Um, so let's run our tests 
now because we don't have that nil problem anymore. And we see them passing uh, like before. Now we get to our ordering ones and they pass. We have now passed all our tests for ordering our rides correctly. And so we can now um, add some additional tests or, or filters or something to our rides to, to make it work correctly. Uh, what we're going to work on next actually is refactoring though because uh, th this is going to um, get ugly really quickly if we follow this pattern to its logical conclusion.